Okay, so today let's talk about the competitors and non-competitors inhibitors. You will see this curve. I think you will see at least five or six questions about competitor and non-competitor inhibitors in the real tests. Okay, first this is the y-axis is one over v max, and this is the x-axis one over k n. This is negative. Okay, how you will read this kind of curve? The v max increase when you will go from up to down. So here is the Vmax increase when you will go from up to down and the Km increase when you will go from left to right. So here the Km increase when you will go from left to right. Don't confuse, please don't confuse yourself in numerator, denominator minus one over. Just keep in your mind these two ideas, okay? The Vmax increase when you will go from up to down, when you will go from up to down the Vmax increase that's mean here the Vmax is what is maximum here the Vmax maximum okay it's in increase while here the Vmax decrease so the Vmax here is a, uh, in the upper part of the curve is smaller than the Vmax in the lower part of the curve according to the Rudis rule when you will go from up to down the Vmax what increase when you will go from left to right the Km increase so here the Km increase while here the Km decrease right again and this is really so important the Vmax increase when you will go from up to down the Vmax increase when you will go from up to down and the Km increase when you will go from left to right. How about the enzymes and the substrate? So this is the control. You will have three types or you have three numbers of enzymes and three numbers of substrate. One, two, three. From the number of enzymes, you can conclude this as Vmax. And from the number of substrate, you can figure out this is what? This is the Km. Okay, this is, this is the KM. This is the control general curve. Now we will talk about two distinguished features of this curve, which is competitive and non-competitive inhibitor. Okay. So, okay, again, just a quick summary. This is the curve again, and this is the Vmax. Okay, this is one over Vmax, and this is one over KM, okay? And, and we talk about here there you will see three enzymes and three substrates and the substrate K KM and the enzymes is Vmax, right? And the way of read this, the, when you will go from up to down, Vmax what increase, okay? And you will go from left to right, Km increase. I'm going, I'm, I just want to show you this because this is a kind of control. Now you will divide this into two types. We will divide this into two types. There is something called competitive inhibitor, okay? And the other things, it is non-competitive inhibitor, right? Okay. Okay, here the number of the enzymes are remain the same. One, two, three. While here the number of the enzymes, one, two, three. Also, now also the same, but it will change to two instead of three. How first? You will see here the inhibitor here is this one, which is a kind of a drug. So the only way to remove this inhibitor and to reach the same number of enzymes by increase the number of substrate. So you will see here more, more, more substrate. One of the substrate can go there and get rid of this, get rid of this inhibitor. As a result of this, the number of the enzymes remain the same. That's mean here Vmax, well, that's mean here Vmax remain the same. Okay. One, two, three enzymes in the control. One, two, three enzymes remain the same. While, uh, how about Km? One, two, three substrate. While here, the, the, we increase the number of substrate to get rid of inhibitor. So here the Km what? Here the Km increase. And according to our rule, according to our rule, this is your curve, okay? According to our this is your curve. This is the control. This is the control of your curve. Can you now draw for me? Can you now draw for me the curve for competitive inhibitor? Yes. The Vmax will not change. So this is the Vmax. 
And how about the KM? The KM increase, so this is your new KM because here the KM increase, so the curve will be looks like this. We call this cross curve as competitive inhibitors. Again, so the KM increase in this, in this type of, in, sorry, the KM increase in competitive inhibitors because you increase the number of substrates, that means the KM increase, while the Vmax will remain the same because the enzyme's number will remain the same, so it will in cross on the same, at the same point in Vmax, right? Okay. Until now, you are, you are in a good shape. How about, how, how about the other kind, which is non-competitive inhibitor? Usually there is a drug which is bind irreversible, irreversible. Okay. The one here, this is, this is, we call this as reversible. Okay. Usually there is a drug which binds irreversible to enzymes. So here, when you, even when you, increase, when you are increasing the number of substrate, even when you are increasing the number of substrate, you will still, you will still have problems. You will still have problems with the enzymes. So as a result of this, you will lose, you will lose one enzyme. Okay, you will lose one enzyme. So instead of three enzymes in, com instead of three enzymes in control, three enzymes in competitive inhibitors, you will see only two enzymes in non-competitive inhibitors. That means the Vmax in this, that means the Vmax here, that means the Vmax here what? The Vmax in non-competitive inhibitors is decreased, while the Km, although you will increase the Km, but it does not affect, so the Km does not increase in the non-competitive inhibitors. Now you kind of draw, draw the chart for me for non-competitive inhibitors. The chart will be looks like this. Again, this is the control. This is the control, and again, this is uh, this is the control. And how about the how about the KM? Usually, they come from the same point to the KM in non-competitive inhibitors, while the Vmax decrease. Again, the Vmax increase when you will go from up to down. That's mean an increase, in decrease here. Here it is less Vmax than this control. Okay, right? Because 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 the rule the Vmax control because the rule look at this rule above the Vmax will be will increase when you will go from up to down and increase and increase downs so that um, while in this example in non-competitive inhibitors the Vmax decrease that means it will be up that means higher point in this graph so the curve will be like look like this which is non-competitive inhibitors. Okay, and how about the examples of non-competitive and competitive inhibitors? Here, the examples of competitive it is ACE inhibitor and um, COX drugs. Okay, COX inhibitors are except aspirin. While here, it, while here you can put aspirin, carbon monoxide poisoning, and cyanide. All of these drugs, sorry, all of these drugs uh, play a role of a kind of non-competitive reversible reactions because you will lose one of the enzymes and the curve will be looks like this up. While the key, KM does not change, while the other competitive inhibitors, the KM change, increase, Vmax normal, the Vmax not increase because the same number of enzymes, so the curve will be, looks like this.